Now we are going to look at unit testing. Hey Mark, looking around the airport, I can see that a lot of stuff run on programs and that gives, that gives me jitters. I have not written them, someone else has and what if they made a mistake? In fact, I did end up paying extra like a charge today just because of the program they were using at the information desk had an error. Yeah, I understand and that is exactly why programmers need to be good testers of their own code and they should be able to test others code as well. Let's discuss this more. The information desk folks receive a lot of queries daily from passengers regarding the maximum weight they can carry. They use a program which accepts the airline name and returns the maximum allowed weight by that airline. The maximum luggage weight allowed by the airlines that operates from this airport are as follows. Airline name, luggage weight in kg. Air India, 30 uh, kilogram. Emirates, 28. British Airways, 35. Any other value, it should give a message back saying it's an invalid airline. Let's see how we, we would test a program written for this scenario. When we test a program, we need to first understand the logic that will be returned for the program. Here is the logic for the maximum luggage weight scenario. So the flow chart, they have given the flow chart, it starts here. And if the first condition, it is a first if, right? If airline equal to equal to AI, Air India, if it is true, right? Airline value is Air India, then it comes here, it is the decision making symbol. It, it, it has uh, one input and two output flow. If airline airline value is R India, then this this becomes true, and the maximum weight set as a 30. If it is false, then it checks another condition. Airline if airline value is Emirates, weight limit becomes 28. Otherwise, if it is false, it, it moves to the next section of the decision making control. Airline if it is airline is a British Airways, if it is true, the weight limit is 35. Otherwise, it says finally all the three are verified verified here false verified here false verified here false then it comes to invalid airline if any one of the true any one of the condition becomes true it takes the maximum weight and here it process and finally it stops it if the first one fails it comes down second one if the second one is true it is executed here then it is evaluated here that is how it works for the whole system <clears throat> how can you find out whether the logic written is correct what values of airline will help to test the entire logic? There are three decisions in this program. We have to identify the airline values which will take the control through the true and false parts of each decision. It is sufficient to cover the entire logic and uncover any error. Enter two values of airline which will ensure that the logic written in the decision one is covered. To check, there are two possibilities. You get true or false. So if the value was AI, the value out, I expected output will be 30, which means the condition is true. If the value is something else except AI, right? If you give, let's say, QW, something like that, then what happens? It returns invalid airline. Similarly, for addition 2 and 3, identify the values of airline and respect to output, which will cover the logic for both. So for the rest of the thing, if the value is Emirates, right? If it is Emirates, the weight expected output should be 28. If it is a British Airways, the expected output should be 35. If anything else apart from this, right, let's say something similar to this, then we will have invalid airline. So can we use the same invalid airline value to cover the false path of all the three decisions? Yes. If it is not true, um, you know, if something else is given, all the for all the three, right? If I given QW, QW is this it checks here, it is not equal to QW, it is equal to EI, then a false. It comes here, the value is EM, Emirates, so it is false. It comes here, the value is BA, but what you given? QW. So what happens? It comes to false. That is what they are asking. They are asking, can you use the same invalid airline value to cover the false path of all the three decisions? Yes. Then they say, we will need just four set of data, four set of test data to test the entire logic with addition one, two, and three put together. Right? Simple. AI, you will have a value. British BEM, you will have a value. 
ba you will have value then for 3 if 3 is not going to met uh, is not about to be met then we will have a fourth one that's invalid any 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 value except these three any value given will be treated as a invalid airline this is one of the testing techniques which can be used to cover the logic here is the program that the information desk folks are using let's test it using the test data values we have identified for airline so if airline equal to equal to ai the maximum weight is 35 you are printing the maximum weight airline equal to equal to a then you have a maximum weight then we'll have this like this uh, if nothing none of them um, you know is is met none of the conditions are met then finally it comes to this section in fact you don't have to have a print statement uh, in every line you can actually take this out and um, print it or oh, they're they based on the airline they're assigning uh, value to this variable we can let's see how it works so as we saw it in the previous decision making chart right it comes this way the flow goes like this let's 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 visualize this so it comes down airline value is air india and checks what is the value of airline there's a decision making symbol which we saw before if maximum weight if it is true then the maximum weight is assigned to 35 then it's printed that's it right we need to test the value now so execute the program by using the airline values given below and record the actual output and the results as passed are filled by comparing the expired output with the actual output. So AI, when you run this program, it is 35. But for AI, expired output is 30. But what we get is 35, isn't it? Then if you change the value here, Emirates. Emirates is 28. Change the value to Emirates. Then the result it shows is a 28. For Emirates, yes, the actual output is 28. For, for this, the actual output was 30. This test case was failed. Sorry, this actual output was 35. This was failed. And this test case was passed. Let's try with BA, British Airlines. And run and see what happens. 35. That's a weight limit. So 35, yes, this is a actual output. Test case is passed. If you try anything else apart from these values, any values, Q or any values, and we get invalid airline. <coughs> yes. Test cases passed. So out of four test cases, three test cases are passed. We see that the first test case had has failed as the expired output is 30, where the actual output is 35. Fix the code for the failed test cases, test the fixed code again and record the actual output. <coughs> now airline weight limit is should be 30. Then I'll change the value and see what happens. Run this actual output is 30. Then so expected output, actual output is same, test case is passed. This is all we need to record. Once you're done with this, you can go ahead to the next problem. So in the, in the previous uh, slide, what they had mentioned was, can we use the same invalid airline value to cover the false path of all the three decisions? So then we will just, we will just, we'll need just four set of test data to test data to test the entire logic with the decision one, two, three put together. So here they have used a four uh, set of test data to tend to enter entire logic. That's what we saw before. Thanks, Mark. I wish they had tested it earlier. Anyways, let me use the logic coverage technique to test the check-in logic for Air India, which has luggage weight limit between 1 kg and 30 kg. Luggage weight values minus 25 and plus 25 should cover the entire logic. Am I right? Mark says, not completely, John. What if a programmer has written the condition like Luggage weight greater than or equal to 1 and luggage weight less than 30. Will it work as per the requirement for the luggage weight of 30 kg? It doesn't. Why? Because we should have used less than or equal to symbol here. Whenever ranges say greater than 0 and less than or equal to 30, greater than or equal to 30, 
greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 30 etc or being written in conditions we need to exhaustively test as most of the programmers make errors while writing these conditions hence it may not be sufficient to, ch to check with just two values that take control to the true and false paths alone in that case we should test the boundaries by considering values on the boundary one above the boundary and one below the boundary this techniques of identifying test data on the boundaries is known as boundary value analysis the correct logic for the check in process of air india is as given below luggage weight equal to 25 it checks luggage weight greater than or equal to 1 and luggage weight less than or equal to 30 if it is true check in clear otherwise check in not clear the test values we should use for luggage weight as per boundary value analysis or so this is the lower limit one is the lower limit 30 is the upper limit so lower limit minus 1 zero lower limit plus 1 is 2 here upper limit minus 1 is 29 upper limit plus 1 is 31 so when you go when you remove test the program you will have to test these three values lower limit value minus 1 plus 1 yeah. upper limit value minus 1 and plus 1 a teacher in a school wants to find and display the grade of a student based on his or her percentage score. The criterion of for grades is as given below. Between the scores and grades are given both inclusive. Between 80 and 100 both inclusive means uh, 80 is also taken into consideration, 100 is also taken into consideration. So greater than or equal to 80 and less than or equal to 100 will be grade A. Uh, between 73 and 79 greater than or equal to 73 and less than or equal to 79 will be grade b between 65 and 72 grade c between 0 and 64 will be grade d any other value let's say 101 or minus 1 or minus 3 any other value will be uh, uh, taken as a grade z assume that the percentage score is a whole number write a python program for the above requirement identify the test data and use it to test the program note remove the duplicate values if any from the identified test data i'm going to write the code for the same this is it score i uh, have taken value of 79 grade uh, just as an empty string if score is greater than or equal to 80 and uh, between the range of 100 so grade is a greater than 72 and within the range of 79 we say b uh, greater than 64 and uh, between as 60 greater than 64 and uh, less than 7 less than or equal to 72 grade c greater than 0 and less than or equal to 64 consider as a grade d so for any other value the grade is should be z so let's test the value 79 as a score if the 79 score is if, uh, if it is a score the next word output should be b <coughs> let's run this program and see the output yes it returns b the so actual output is b test case is passed so this is the <clears throat> um, this is a, we can take the first one this is a, uh, 79 is the lower limit minus 1 test case it works now I am going to have the actual value 80 so let's say 80 this is a lower limit we are, we are, I am going to take it only for the one section of this one this first condition I am going to test uh, conditions on boundary values right so if say 80 expert output should be A isn't it Let's run this program. I have given the value as 80. Yes, expert output is A. Actual output is also A. So test case is passed. Then the next uh, value can be 81. It's a boundary test case. So add rows. 81. I should get the <coughs> expert output as 81. A. Let's run this program. Yes. So we get the output as A. Fine. This test case also. So the lower uh, the lower limit is 80 a minus 1 plus 1. We tested, we got the result. Then we'll have to go ahead for the upper limit. So upper limit is 100. So I'm going to take 100 minus 1 first now. So 100 minus 1 is 91, 99. If it is 99, <coughs> the expert output should be A. <coughs> let's see what happens. I have not changed the value. Let's change the value. A. Yes. So actual output is also A, which means test cases passed. So we take another two cases, 100, 101. So there's a boundary uh, test cases. 
So 100, if you change the value to 100, let's see what happens. 100 we have done. So we get A, yes. The actual output is also A. So test cases passed. Then we'll test with 101. If we test, if you get the answer, because we have mentioned anything beyond 18 and 100, A. Anything beyond will be any other value will be Z. So I should get the output as Z. So what is the value I'm going to get now? I don't know. We'll have to run this program and see the output. I should get Z. If I get a Z, that's fine. So let's change the value to 201 and run this program. It says B. It actually it should give us the output what you got was B. The test case is fail. Now we will have to identify what is the reason for this. So B, B is here. So um, if this condition is executed, the value of grade would have been assigned to B. Then there might be a flaw in this condition. Let's check what happens. Score greater than 72 and score oh, greater than or equal to 79, which is wrong. So what should we do? It is less than or equal to 79. People tend to make mistakes. We need to be very careful on this. So after doing the changes, yes, we got the right result. So actual output is also passed. Yes. So once you're done with this, you can submit. All the test cases are passed.